this is just a small demo to demonstrate Railroad & Co. And I thought I'd just try and show you the, some of the basics. Okay, the first thing we need to do <coughs> is look at our top menu bar. And we'll go up here to Railroad. And by holding the left mouse key down, you can see that you can open up a new file. You can open a, an existing file. You can save. Save as. And some of the other items that we'll go into at a bit later stage. We'll now move on to edit. In edit, you can cut and copy and delete. But one of the most important things you'll do is use the control Z for undoing things. We'll next move on to view. And we can view things such as our switchboard grid, customize, etc. This sets up all the colors and customize. And under toolbars, we can, oh, we've got the element box, which we're going to be using to draw later on. And just quickly, we can go into train. We can create an engine, create a train in blocks. These where we put the indicators to set up how Railroad and, co and Co. controls the model railway. We can set schedules so that one train moves from one spot to another. And under tools, the most used we'll use is select, operate, and draw and we'll do things such as route traffic box and text as well in this demonstration under window you can show things such as the message window now this is very good for when you're trying to find out what's going wrong when you're running your layout so we'll just clear that um, and we'll just go down the window turn it off and last but not least we can go into help in the index here and you'll notice a window pops up and I know what I'm looking for so if I type in DRA draw you'll see ah oh, here we go drawing the track diagram so I double click on that or I could have gone down to display to display it there's two methods of doing it that there so once you've read all this you'll know how to insert components into the switchboard so here we go first I'm going to do is select the draw icon so we click it with the left mouse button and then I just hold the left mouse button down and I can draw in horizontal 40 45 degree lines and vertical lines so I'm just going to quickly try and put this in as quickly as we can You notice here, I'm just going to do a deliberate mistake here. I'm going to go across here at 45, and you'll see that it puts in a point automatically. But in this demo, I just don't want to do it here. So I'm going to go up and do my Control Z, and I can continue inserting the lines. And I close that off. Now I think I also might just put in a little um, siding here. So I'm going to put in a little siding. Oh, it is very little. So what I'm going to do is I can stretch it. So I'll go into my select mode, get my window key here, and I'm going to stretch it over this area. Go into it, and you'll notice I've now got arrows. And if I just hold the left mouse, mouse button down, I can stretch it. I can then go back into the drawing and quickly join the lines up. Now, <coughs> once we've got this, well, we can start putting in some blocks. So I need to go over to, uh, no, I'll do, um, I'll do route first. I'll click on the route, and I'm going to put in two keys, and I'm going to label them. Double click on that key, and I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it um, straight. Then I'm going to go into route, and I'm going to record it. Um, oops, I just need to get this back in here somewhere. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my left mouse key down and just trace around the track or the route that you want the train to go in. And it's quite easy, but you must be careful when you're joining to carefully close it. Then I'm going on to go on the stop and save key, and then I can do an OK. I can then proceed to the next one and I'll click on the general tab 
and I'm going to call this curve. Curve. I'm going to route that again. Record. And this time I'll go in the opposite direction just for a bit of variety. And again, carefully join it up and then hit the stop and save tick. And then I can hit OK. Now I suppose we should really check it. So I can go up to this operate little lantern here, click on that. And as I come over the button, you'll notice that the little lantern has come up and if I click on it you'll see that it's now highlighted as a straight route turn it off go to the next one which is the curve route and you can see I've now got that so now I've got a couple of routes set up for me to control the trains so I now think I should put in some blocks I'm going to go over to traffic box click on that and then I'm going to go there there and there. Really you need a block on either side of any point. Now that I've got the blocks in, I've decided that I really want to make them a little bit bigger. So what I need to do is call up my little toolbar here and make sure that I'm on the select key and then you click in the box. And as you go to the end, you'll notice it changes to a little arrow that's horizontal. If you drag it, you'll notice that the end of the rail will move. That's been it's and you click on the rail again and that will move successfully. So I try again, wait until I get the little arrow, and you'll notice it stretches. Click to put it in place. And the last one, hit that little arrow and move it. Click, and we're done. So now what I need to do is indicate um, where the contacts, my S88 contacts will be. So I'm going to go up here to contact indicator, click on it, and I'm going to insert one here, there, oh sorry, edit, undo, I'll put one in the middle, and one here, come around, and I'll do one here, one in the middle, one at this end, one up here, one here, and the last one here. Now what I need to do is actually identify them with some text, but I need to know what they are first. So if I go up to click on my select button and hold the button over there, you'll notice a little window will pop up and says it's um, I'm using the IntelliBox and it's module one, contact one. So and if I just hold it over another one, you'll see this one here is Module 1, Contact 7. So what I'm going to do now is just put some text to identify those so they're on the screen. So I go over to Text, and I click where I want the text to be, and you'll notice a little box comes up, and in here I can type in K1. Do a return, and you'll notice the text goes in to the box, Click up here, and that will need to be in text mode again, text, and then I'll do K2, do OK, and then I'm still in the text command I think, and I'll click here again, no, text. three. I won't bore you with the rest but that's what we need to do. So now I've identified some of the contacts and I've got my block in. So I just thought this was a little short show to demonstrate how to go about using Railroad Co. Now what you must do from time to time is come up to this little disk icon and save the active save the active train controller file. So I'll do a save and it's done. Now I can safely exit out and come back at some stage and pick up from here. So I hope you find this useful.